Was there was there was empires in Africa called Kush Timbuktu where every race came to get books with my success to you even if you wish me the opposite sooner or later we'll all see who the prophet is Mountains we've been climbing Held us down but now we're rising See the sun on the horizon Now my people will be shining See the sun on the horizon Now my people will be shining Let me tell you what I'm feeling like I'm just trying to see my people right Pull us down they don't wanna see us high. I'm in the clouds, so them herbs have to leave the lights. From school, they tried to teach me lies. The amount of times I heard my culture getting demonized. They don't show you what Africa is really like. They just love to advertise all the fleas and flies. I love the Martin. But I'm not the dreaming type, the one that hear my people died while I was sleeping tight. That's why I'm in the streets trying to freedom fight. And every time I burn a fire, I swear a demon dies. I remember those dark nights, but my heart's light, cause I see our past bright. Who said we can't rise? Who said we can't shine? Don't believe them, this is our time. All these mountains we've been climbing held us down, but now we're rising. See the sun. Ten Nine Warrior Kings and Queens, Gokush TV speaking to one of the leading sisters within the nation of Islam UK, Sister Aisha Muhammad. She's part of the MG2 who hosted this event today and also the campaign manager for lifting the unjust ban on the Honourable Minister Louis Varkar. Greetings, my sister. Thank you. Greetings. For hosting us. Why was it important for the MGT to put on this event today? Well, it's important for us to express the love that we have for the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Most Honourable Elijah Muhammad. He also teaches that 75% of the work is with the woman. So, you know, we decided to take charge and stand up and put on the fundraiser to help the campaign to lift the ban. So, you know, it's important for us to come together as one, you know, to achieve this goal. Yeah, and as the, as the campaign manager, we, we had the pleasure of speaking to Student Minister Hillary earlier and he gave us the, the, the reason why we're, we're, we're going for that push at this moment in time but what is it that you're calling for people to do at this moment in time to really push the campaign? At this moment in time it's very important that everybody comes together and encourages all of their contacts to sign the petition. This is one thing that we want to be able to do because we are going to put the petition forward to the government so therefore we need it to be showing the real backing that we have for this campaign so it's for people to sign it and encourage their contacts to sign it so that we can put forward the petition to which is a voice for all of us in and of itself to say that we want this unjust ban lifted on the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan do you have a, 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 a target for numbers of petition on the petition yeah I mean ideally it would be good to have a hundred thousand but we want to get to the mark of 25,000 quick in a hurry yes sir all right, all right and so are there gonna be any more upcoming events with regards to the campaign that people need to know about Yes, there will be up and coming events. I mean, we have the Justice or Else um, campaign that the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan is doing, and that is to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Million Man March. He's asked for 10,000 fearless because obviously we're being killed en masse as black people. We are under attack and we have to stand up against this. We have to voice our concern about this and be proactive together as one. All oppressed people is not a thing about colour. So we will be having an event to celebrate that here also as well as some of us going over to Washington DC um, which is going to happen um, 10 10 15 the 10th of October 2015 so these are some of the events that we're going to be happy having other fundraising events as well so yes stay tuned via social media you know our social media pages will keep you updated thank you very much my sister you heard it here kings and queens just one example of the 75 percent of the work that is being done among our sisters our powerful sisters Sisters, support the campaign, lift the unjust ban. Right now we say, 
Ten damn worry. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Don't believe them. This is our time. Our time. All these mountains we've been climbing held us down, but now we're rising. See the sun on the horizon. Now my people will be shining. See the sun on the horizon. horizon, horizon. Now my people will be shining, 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 shining. We can rise above the clouds For a long, long time They had us bound They want to keep tabs and track us down Ten and Warrior Kings and Queens I'm here with veteran organiser Brother Glenn Roy Watson From the Global African Congress Greetings Brother Glenn Roy First of all, how have you found this evening? Ten Mari, I think it was uh, wonderful. I mean, uh, you don't never know before you come here what it's going to be like. I mean, I'm not a big fashion show person, but I, I think that was great. But I just think the commitment that people are showing to the issue that we're here needs to be very, very clear. And I think it came out here and we need to press it again. And really, at the end of the day, there is so much nonsense that the wider community will have about banning one man and buying into the hypocrisy about his anti this, his anti that and whatever. Look how many people we live around who's anti us. We don't try and get them banned. You know, maybe we do, I don't know, maybe somebody's out there trying to ban some of these people, but they're living here and we got to live with them. And we're joining a crowd to support banning a man like that. The whole of the African community should be here saying no to this and it's not about being a uh, uh, muslim it's not about being part nation of islam it's about seeing injustice and standing up for justice you heard it from brother glenn ray watson of the global african congress saying it here first together we are one round there we say together we are one Ten down worry got kush tv my name is shakara here with sister valerie designer in chief of kitty ferreira taking care and contributing to the fashion show at the together we are one show this evening how have you found the event my sister absolutely amazing i was mainly helping backstage so actually i only met these um these girls on wednesday uh, and that's when we started to put together the actual show so i've only known them for a very short period of time but they worked really hard, we did a really good catwalk, I'm yet to obviously see it, So, uh, but one of my pieces were uh, on the catwalk and yeah, I'm very happy to have, have had that done. All right. Are you supporting the campaign to lift the, the unjust ban? Of course! Why? I picked I picked that music. Did you hear the music? No, it was a color. Um, I'm gonna music. Right. Okay. So there's a reason. I mean, I'm I'm definitely uh, behind it because first and foremost, my pieces are ethical and sustainable. And there's there's something a little bit more about being ethical and sustainable than just paying people fair wages and all the rest of it. It's actually about uh, an ethical mindset, which is respecting people and planet and respecting um, it's respecting the environment by respecting the unspoken word between uh, between persons so you, you know you're not taking the, the can I swear no. <laughs> you're not ta- no so you're not taking the mic um, yeah so yeah in, in a nutshell you know I'm very much um, for it you know for, for that reason okay thank you very much sister Valerie you ain't got nothing if you ain't got kush All these mountains we've been climbing Held us down but now we're rising See the sun on the horizon Now my people will be shining See the sun on the horizon now my people live Ten Dime Warrior Kings and Queens, my name is Shakara and we are here at Together We Are One, put on by the MGT of the Nation of Islam. Fundraising to lift the unjust ban on the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan and I am here with Carol Rose, fashion designer extraordinaire and Nia Mohammed, spoken word artist, fantastic and budding model or as we say in Jamaica, Margul. Greetings, my sisters. First of all, thank you for being here to allow us to interview you. First and foremost, and I'm worried, thank you. First of all, 
How have you found the evening? I thought it went really good. Yes. Yeah, I was it. I wish I got to see more of it because I was behind stage, but everything seemed to be running smoothly and everyone seemed to be having a good time. Brother, I was always inspired coming to these events. Um, I think it's really great to see our people together under one banner, one unity from different denominations and cultural expressions. It just shows that when we're left alone amongst ourselves, we just have nothing but love for each other. And I try to encapsulate that in the show with a choice of music that just expresses our culture and the love that we feel for our music, our heritage and our clothes. And I thought it was just a brilliant day. Yeah. Right, in case I didn't make it clear, this is a mother and daughter combination right here, kings and queens. It's important that we identify the intergenerational dynamic at play. Do you know what I'm saying? I've got one question each for you. First of all, mummy, um, in relation to you're a fashion designer and we had a fashion show here today. And for a, a campaign event, people might be wondering, why would you have a fashion show? It might feel, it might feel like a weird placement in, 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 for an event like this. So why do you think fashion, it was so important to display fashion at an event like this? I think, first and foremost, um, if you listen to some of the, uh, the opening narrative about the fashion industry being the largest industry in the world, the most pollutant industry in the world, second to oil, in this country it generates billions and we know that as a people we are consumers and consumers of fashion um, and we don't produce our own fashion and so this whole event wasn't just about lift the ban, it's about us understanding our true power financially, so economically, spiritually, um, and uh, grow in, in sort of growing. So from a spiritual and financial perspective, clothing, which is energy, from a sister's perspective, it beautifies. Fashion was very, very important in this, uh, in this arena today. And the fact that this the event was put on by the MGT and their sisters, we wanted to lift the standard and show our sisters that are on the outside of this movement of spirituality and growth another way of clothing and adorning yourself so when we when we have our events you know what we're, we're people we're all encompassing so it's about harmony on every level so if, whether it was fashion or dance today music it's all about cult, a culture revolution. That's the term I'm going to use. Yes. It's about launching a culture revolution in all aspects. Thank you very much. As a fashion designer, how, how you like my girls? My girls look all right? Brother, you look tough. <laughs> we give thanks, we give thanks, we give thanks, all right? We give thanks, yeah? And my sister, you're a, you're a young sister. Do you mind me asking how old you are? 15. 15 years young, kings and queens. And she's an award-winning spoken word artist. Fellow spoken word artist, two spoken word artists. Congratulations and well done. And as a young person, as a teenager, why do you think it's important for teenagers to support lifting the unjust banner, Minister Farrak? I think that, especially nowadays, young black teenagers aren't in touch with their culture enough. So events like this help us to come together and realize what the greater purpose is, is, is getting him back here and getting in touch with ourselves. So I think that's like really important for us. Thank you very much, my sister. You've heard from Nia Mohammed and Sister Carol Rowe, spoken word and fashion is in the house, kings and queens. We are a creative people and we can do anything we put our minds to. We're building a nation. Right now we say, Tenda and Wari. Give time. See the sun on the horizon. Now my people will be shining. See the sun on the horizon. Horizon, horizon. Now my people will be shining, shining, shining. We can rise above the clouds for a long, long time. They had us bound. They wanna keep tabs and track us down. Cat and mouse, it's like they're trying to trap us now. Rising up and we're getting out. The amount of time these politicians done. Right now we say ten nine more. We're continuing our coverage on Got Crush TV of We Together. We are one with the family of the nation of Islam. We are here with brother Ras Levi. Ras Levi of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. So you can see Kings of Queens, enough organizations are in the house. Have you how have you enjoyed the evening, Ras Levi? Well, so far we give thanks to the creator for being here amongst our families, our people, different organizations, brothers, sisters, youths, and um, yeah, everything is quite good, you know, and uh, consciousness is here, at least we can see the conscious power of coming together and doing things together, yeah? So why, why, why are you and the EWF supporting the lifting of the unjust ban on Minister Lewis Farrakhan? Well, definitely we are all 
from the same part of the world. We are all African, Caribbean, African, or Black American, African, and then uh, the way forward is to unite and support each other for you know our people. So anything that fitting within our scope was. You see, the Ethiopian Federation is one of the main aim of the organization, Ethiopian World Federation, is the unity of black people in the world. So we will support definitely when it's well set and well prepared. And yeah, definitely, it's a very good action. Like the prophet, the prophet said a uh, while ago, um, Mohammed, the prof, um, minister, sorry, minister Hilary, um, just intervene and show us that Mr. Farrakhan is one of the leader. Well, he's one of the brother, I would say, or, 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 or father for some. He's a father for some who really push all those here, push the the movement for black people, like Garvey and, and you know, like Garvey and Malcolm X and all those Beijing. So we have to honor that and give respect to the struggle and the sacrifice. I'm talking about sacrifice that once. You know, putting forward. Yes, indeed, kings and queens, you've heard it here. As its Imperial Majesty says, organize, centralize, come as one. Ja Rastafari. Right now, we say Tendai Mwari, you are in tune to Got Kush TV. We are here at Together We Are One, put on by the Nation of Islam in order to lift the unjust ban on the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I am here with Brother Lee Jasper and Ras Gabri Wold of Rastafari Movement UK. Greetings, my brothers, my elders. Greetings, 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 greetings. greetings. Um, first of all, I want to get a, a word from both of you in terms of why you thought it was important to be here to support this event and this campaign. Yeah, man, it's all right now we have to know that Farrakhan, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, is him right to come and address I and I, the black community, the African community in this part of the world. And the system have no rights. What happened to freedom of speech? You know, it seems like that doesn't really come to I and I as African people. So we're here really to endorse the nation of Israel, call for the Reverend, the, 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 the Honorable Louis Farrakhan to come to England and address I and I and let us know the problem that we're having so that we can help to really strengthen it and endorse it. You know, because together we are one, no matter where we are, we are one African people, whether we're in Jamaica, Africa, the Caribbean, or America. We are all Africans, so that makes us one people. Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm here by invitation. Come tonight, today, to support the event. I'm working with Minister Hillary to put some exciting moves on the government next year. Bring some political creativity and strategy and pressure to break the ban. Because I think that the only person capable of sending the kind of message and getting the kind of response from our young people here in the UK and probably the whole of Europe is Minister Farrakhan uh, and I want to be able to help bring him here now because I feel the crisis is upon our community right now uh, and uh, we're trying to save as many as we can and he will help us guide them to uh, hopefully uh, you know in a unified nation so yeah let's lift that ban Right. One, one more question for the eyes, them in relation to this tonight's event. How have you found tonight's event and the oneness of tonight's event? Yeah, man, tonight, oh, to, tonight's event, event was really ireful. We love the gathering, yeah. we love the contribution from ones and ones. You know, the whole thing is showing us that unity is a strength. And as we are saying, with the psalmist say, how good and how pleasant for I and I and I to dwell together in unity and love. Once we can achieve that, then the world is our eye star. Rastafari, my lad, yes. You know, tonight has been a real family occasion. We've seen young people, we've seen children, we've seen our sisters, we've seen our brothers, we've seen people of every denomination and some of none, yeah. all unified on lifting the ban of Farrakhan. Yes. Now, when do you have that kind of unity? That's the power of the minister. That's why we need him and the ban lifted right here in the UK. You've heard it, kings and queens, Ras Gabriel, Brother Lee. You ain't got nothing if you ain't got Kush. The fact is I'm black and I am proud. So when you're talking about my people, better mind your mouth. They said our culture's dying out. See, they don't know what black pride's about. They be lying, fam. Never see this lying down. We ain't lying down. I can see we're rising now. All these mountains we've been climbing held us down, but now we're rising. See the sun on the horizon. Now my people.
Tenamwari Kings and Queens, we are back again, continuing the Got Kush TV coverage of Together We Are One, hosted by the MGT of the Nation of Islam, fundraising to lift the ban on the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan, I should say lift the unjust ban on the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'm here with one of the main organisers, MGT's sister Francesca. Greetings my sister. Greetings brother yes. Sakura. Um, and, and we know that you were one of the main organisers. Yeah, of, of, of this event, central to the thing, you booked a lot of artists. How was it organising this event and how do you find, it? you know, after the event now, what do you think of the successful event? Absolutely, beyond um, imagination, definitely very successful, bringing all the different organisations together, bringing different groups together and really thinking that, and knowing, you know, really that we are one. Yeah, it's very, very successful. So what was, what was the importance in terms of this particular theme, we are one, and the type of energy that you galvanise in terms of performances, organisations, what was the importance of it? The importance is really as you know as a community we often so much in our own little groups or we're very much in our own you know ideologies but really you know at the essence of it we are a one people and really that has always been throughout the event and throughout what we you know what we do in also in the nation of Islam is really not focusing on the labels but really stoking on the things that really matter for us as a people such as you know that we need our own schools we need our own banks we need to educate our children and this is what um, Together We Are One is about not focusing on the labels but focusing on what really matters in helping our people and our children move forward. Thank you sis and in, in terms of we know this is not just a one day event you know what I'm saying the work always continues and as a member of the MGT what kind of programs and things that are coming up that you would like to people them to know about in terms of the work that the MGT is doing in the community? And as your brother said, it's not um, just a one, one, you know, one day event at all. But we've just recently had um, some summer workshops for young, from young girls and also for boys as well, in regards to how to cook, how um, in etiquette. But we're continually doing this all the time to really um, make sure that our children will um, continue to, you know, continue to develop in these in these areas, better etiquette, better thinking. And this is what is so, so, so important to our, for our people and for our children. But also we have another event coming up in regards to a women's event, so stay tuned where you can find out more about it, about the healing of the black woman and also of sisterhood. Thank you very much my sister, one of the main organisers of our event today together. We are one, as you can see, the MGT does work 24-7, 365 Kings and Queens. Don't just support the campaign, but support the work of the MGT and the Nation of Islam in its entirety. Right now we say, Tendamwari. Kings and Queens, I am privileged to be here with the legendary Carol Thompson at We Are One. Campaign to lift the unjust ban on Mr. Farrakhan. Greetings, my sister. Greetings. First of all, how have you found the evening? It was a wonderful evening. It was inspiring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And why is it important for artists like yourself? Why did you feel it was important to be here to support this event and this campaign? I think it's important that we show our allegiance, that we join, that we unify, that we bring whatever we have as an individual in order to create the awareness of what is important for us and our children's children. Thank you very much, my sister. As you can see, she's not just a beautiful voice. She's a purposeful woman. You've heard it here first together. We are one. Right now we say, Tenda and Wari. <laughs> See, they don't know what black pride's about They be lying fam, never see this lying down We ain't lying down, I can see we're rising now All these mountains we've been climbing Held us down but now we're rising See the sun on the horizon Now my people will be shining See the sun on the horizon Now my people will be shining Shining Yeah. 
Right now we say Tendam Wari Shakara with the main man representing the main man in the entirety of Europe. I'm here with Student Minister Hillary Mohammed. Greetings, my brother. Greetings, sir. Greetings. Yes, indeed. Thank you, first of all, for hosting us and our community at this fantastic event. Um, first of all, why did you think it was important for the MGT to put on an event like this? Because the greatest supporter of Jesus and the greatest supporter of any man of consequence, brother, generally is the woman. And if the woman backs you collectively, yes, then you know whatever you're involved in trying to achieve, the likelihood of your success has just been guaranteed once the black woman buys into that which you're trying to do. So our sisters have proven their love for the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan because of what he has done for them because of what he has done for their children, because of what he has done for their husbands. So it's only right that the sisters bear witness to the benefit that they have received from the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan 4,000 miles away without his physical presence but just we're building on his spiritual essence. Well, you will know, as well as I will know, that many brothers and sisters have got a lot from Mr. Farrakhan's videos and tapes over the years, but he's been banned for a generation. So this is probably a question that only you can answer. Why is now have, have, have the nation decided to take uplift this campaign and give it new momentum? Well, yeah, well, as you know, in 2001, we took the government to court and Allah God blessed us with a victory. But the government, in an underhanded way, they put the ban back in place and many of our brothers and sisters actually don't know that the ban was reimposed on the Honourable Louis Farrakhan. So the publicity mainly is to make, is to let our people know that the minister is actually still banned. So once we're able to inform them of the current state of affairs, then by God's grace they will respond with the same outrage that we have and help us towards putting the necessary requisite pressure on the government in order for us to behold God's servant. The Honourable Louis Farrakhan here in the United Kingdom. We went to court 2001, but now we want to go to court with the masses of our people. If our people were with us in 2001, because we were more focused on the litigation, the legal aspects, we neglected to really inform our people and keep them up to speed with what we were doing. This time we're starting with the people. And if we go back to court, it will be with the people. There's nothing we're doing from this day henceforth without the backing of the people. And if the people are with us, then God is with us. And we know that God will bless us with a victory. You've heard it from the main man, representing the main man, student minister, Hillary Mohammed, representing the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in the entirety of Europe. In the words of the Honorable Elijah Mohammed, respect your own and be yourself. Right there we say ten down worry. Before we close, we'd just like to thank on behalf of Student Minister Hillary Mohammed, the European representative of the Honourable Minister Farrakhan, we'd like to thank the following. Brother, before I'd like to thank the, on behalf of the Minister of the Ethiopian World Federation, who opened us up with drums and prayers. Oh, come on, tell them to give them love for the Charge it to our head and not to our heart.